y'all welcome back to my channel i am sunny from sofa vibes co and i am sunny brooks um i know y'all are probably not used to this environment but get used to it because i am loving filming from home and i'm probably gonna look like this in a couple other videos which is okay um i know y'all are used to me being in my office all face beat and laid to the gods but that's not the case look i am natural this is how I spend 99% of my life, looking like this. Um, nevertheless, I have come here to answer all of the questions about ancestors that I have gotten. Um, we at Sofa Vibes Co. had made a post about type of ancestor offerings. Here it goes. And we got so many questions about ancestors i decided to make a whole video to answer all of the questions in the comments um and i'm pretty sure if you all have more questions i'll answer them so just drop them below let me know um but this is part one so the first question i have is how often to how often do you give offerings to your ancestors um i give offerings daily However, I think when people think of offerings, they think of elaborate things. I'm sorry, hold on. My little thing, I know y'all hear the little clicking. It, it, it's solar panel and it's getting on my nerves. So, okay. Um, but yeah, some people think of elaborate offerings like food, wine, liquor, flowers, things like that. I don't give those things every day, but I do give an offering every day. Um, you can give, for example, my ancestors love gospel music, and I love gospel music. So when I sing a song or some songs for them, that's an offering. I did that the other day. I just broke out, started singing, and I sung probably like 15 different songs, whichever I was being led to. That was an offering to them. When I cook before I eat, my ancestors eat like I will fix them a plate or a little bowl with food in it because I am because they are so I feed them if I eat who if anybody in this house eat my ancestors eat right um on like once a week maybe Fridays or Saturdays whichever day I'm out and about running errands um I get them maybe fresh flowers or I'll get them a bottle of wine or I'll get them a soda or liquor I get them one of those elaborate offerings um you can light an incense Lighting a candle, sitting there meditating with them is an offering. So you can give them different type of offerings. Tobacco um, is an offering, right? You can give them different offerings. But if you are just starting out, I would recommend giving them an offering at least once a week. And then work your way up twice a week, three times a week, and so forth. The next question is, what do you do with the food after you are finished offering or meditation? Okay, so what do you do with the food or the offerings after you're done? That is up to you. Me, personally, I just discard. I throw it away, right? Um, sometimes, half of the time, I would throw it over my balcony um, if it's like fruit or anything like that because it nourished the earth. Um, if there's any other food, I would throw it in the trash or I'll put it in a, um, you know, the little fruit bag. So I'll dump it in there, tie it up, and take it to the trash. I don't do anything really elaborate with the offerings. I feel like they are done with it, so I just trash it, and that's what works for my ancestors. I know some people bury their offerings. Some people um, eat the offerings, like they'll give it to them, then eat it. I personally don't eat it because it's like it's for my ancestors. It's not for me. So um, it's up to you. Um, yeah, some people said they plant it under their tree. They put it, um, oh, they, they leave it at the base of their tree. That may work. Um, what should you, where should you put the offering in front of the pictures? So I have a plate on my ancestor altar, um, that all food go on there. And that plate is in the center of my ancestor altar. Um, you can put it in front of the pictures. Me personally, I don't have pictures on my altar. I have pictures above my altar. Um, so even though it's all my altar, but the, the pictures are above it. So I don't have pictures to really put in front of it um, or behind it you can put the food wherever you want or whatever offering you can put it wherever just make a space put it on the altar don't complicate it I promise it's not that complicated do not complicate it somebody said what about incense um, 
Incense, it depends if your ancestors like incense. Sometimes my ancestors like incense, sometimes they don't like incense. You can give incense. Um, I use incense sometimes to represent the air element, which works perfectly fine. Um, someone say, how do you find out what they like? Is it just trial and error? Yes, to be honest. And at first, when you start honoring your ancestors, you may feel like you're not hearing them. You may not feel like you are feeling them. There are subtle changes that happen and you have to be aware of them, right? Things may become a little easier, right? So you may go from making it, ha having very uh, much difficulty finding parking spots and then all of a sudden it comes easier, right? That's ancestor offerings that may be doing that. I'm saying small things like that that you have to notice or maybe you just may get a little, the hair on the back of your neck may stand up or you may get a little tingling feeling on your shoulders, right? There's subtle changes, but notice those changes. And then from there, you'll be able to notice bigger changes. So I know when my ancestors don't like something because I just feel it. It doesn't, my life doesn't feel settled or I kind of feel uneasy. And I'm like, something's not right. And I'm like, oh, I gave my ancestors. I remember, hmm, here's a story. I remember this one time I bought this plant for my ancestors. It was like a succulent and they killed it. They killed, it died in two days. I watered it. I did what I was supposed to, but it was, it, they killed it. It, the, all, everything came off. It was dead, done, gone forever. Right? So I was like, Oh, that's a, that's a sign. They don't like these succulents. No worries. And I had the nerves to name the little succulent after one, after my great, great, great grandmother. And she was like, uh-uh, mm-mm. But I gave them flowers. They have yellow flowers now and they like it. So you have to just, Feel it out. You may feel uneasy. You may um, feel um, like you may you may feel some sort of resistance. So you just have to feel. You have to feel and just trust yourself. If something like if you're walking in the store and something like grab that and you're like I don't eat that, it's probably your ancestors. Or you like oh I'm gonna get this Pepsi for my ancestors and it fall and drop. They probably don't want it. Or you say I'm gonna get this Pepsi for my ancestors and something like mm -mm, put it back, put it back. They probably don't want it, right? So you just got to trust yourself. Could we choose items even if we never met or knew what they like? Yes. So if you don't know what they like, you can give items that you think they may like. So for example, tobacco is normally a good offering. Uh, rum is normally a good offering. Flowers are normally good offering. Food is normally good offerings, right? So you may say, okay, look, I know my great grandma used to throw down in the kitchen and cook collard greens, cornbread, mac and cheese, and pitcher peas and rice and black eyed peas and all this. You may make those foods for them and it may go well, but one day you may make cornbread and they don't want cornbread, so you will know. But um, you can trust yourself and just give them offerings. I think it's not, I think, I know it's the thought and intention that matters. So if you're just starting out, any offering and acknowledging them is going to work, right? Because they are, they, they aren't used to being honored or, or um, given offerings. So when you give that to them, you're coming to them like, hey, I'm trying to give you something. I wanna give you some energy. I want to exchange some energy with you. The more you build that relationship, the more specific um, things will get and the more you would know about them. So just trust yourself and give them something. Um, you can always ask people in your family though. I remember um, I, haven't, I didn't meet my grandmother and I asked my aunts, I was like, what did she like to do? What was she always doing? What did she like? What did she like to drink? What did she like to eat? So you can ask other people. Someone said, um, I would give them offerings if I knew them. So you do not have to know your ancestors. Listen, you don't have to know them. We all have ancestors. That's something we all have in common. We all have ancestors. We don't have to know them, but the more you work with them, the more they will reveal themselves to you. So you may not know their name. You may not know what they look like, but you have them. So just setting the intention to honor your ancestors, to say, hey, I am honoring my ancestors. I'm honoring the ones that I don't know and the few that I do know, right? Because there's no way we can know all of our ancestors. It's impossible. Our lineages and generations go back too far for us to know all of our ancestors. So start somewhere, just honor, just say, this is my ancestor altar and I'm honoring all of my ancestors. Start there. Um, let's see. 
It says, mm -mm -mm. yep, somebody say, they say they normally give them candy, water, liquor, fruit, nuts. Um, they ask her for coffee or a specific kind of liquor. Yes, coffee is another thing that people um, like. They, um, she offers them cooked food from time to time, but they really like rum when they give it to her, um, when she give it to them. Um, so someone said, how do I know, this is a good point. Someone said, how do you know um, they like it or they don't like it? She said, I think of recent ancestors who passed and the things they liked and put it there. With the liquor, I pay attention of how long it stays up there. In my mind, they're drinking it if it could be evaporating. Yes, that's another thing. My, I will put a shot there and the shot glass is empty the next day. I'm like, oh, so y'all really like, y'all y'all like that rum, huh? Um, and other times I'll put a certain rum and they're like, child, I don't want that. So, yes. Um, somebody said, I tried different liquor and they all, they all go differently. When I meditate and ask them what they want, I hear them say what they want. Um, and I put it there or they'll come to me in my dreams and say something that sticks to me after waking up. So yeah, that person may hit the nail on the hammer. Wait, no, hit the hammer, whatever you get what I mean. Can you demonstrate an offering ritual? So I, mm, I showed you all how to set up an ancestor altar. I am not, maybe, maybe. It's not, it's nothing to really demonstrate, right? I don't know about an offering ritual and all of this. I, it's, it is second to nature to me to give to my ancestors. So when I cook, I'm about to fix plate. I grab their plate, fix their plate, put it on their thing. There's no elaborate ritual like I'm going to cleanse the whole house and I'm going to drop it from the sky and speak this language and open up the heaven gate. I'm not doing all of that, right? I'm just giving them an offering and saying thank you. Um, but I can. If you if you all want to see a certain offering rituals or something, let me know and I'll, I'll do it. Um, Someone said, I was educated a little on having a cup of water in my bedroom. I was a little frightened. Could you or someone tell me about that? Um, I'm not sure um, what that means. But I have heard that people say um, that they keep cups of water in their bedroom to keep the bad and evil spirits away. But that may be something. But I'm not sure exactly um, what you all mean by that one. Um... Someone said, I want to know if there's a specific time of day um, to do this or can it be done at any time? It can be done at any time. I give offerings all through the day. There are sometimes, I'm not even going to lie, there's sometimes, like not even often, it's very rare, that I forget to give an offering, but I remember before I go to bed and I'll give an offering um, before I go to bed. So you can do it at any time of day or any day. Um, you can do it every day. You can do it some days. You can do it 12 o'clock every day. You can be consistent. It doesn't matter. Look. It's not, let's not complicate it, people. Don't complicate it. Someone said they added flowers because their grandmother loved flowers. Any particular color candle or incense? I only work with white can. Don't mind me. It was like, it was like a little net. The door was open. The balcony door was open. Anyways, I only work with white candles. Only white candles. I only... Now, let me say that. I don't only work with white candles. When dealing with my ancestors, I only work with white candles. Um, incense, it, it varies. Sometimes I use lavender incense. I use third eye incense. I use crown chakra incense. It depends. Um, but I would say um, do the white candle and use a, a neutral incense, right? Lavender, nag champa. Don't go get some like patchouli, sandalwood, like... You probably don't even like patchouli. You probably don't even like sandalwood. So what makes you think they gonna like it? Right? So start like that somewhere. Um, okay, okay, okay. Does it matter what color candle and what kind of incense? White candle. White candle. Unless they direct you to do otherwise, I don't think I have ever heard of anyone or know anyone that use another color candle for their ancestors. I don't know. And incense... Keep it simple. Um, right, someone say, importantly, most importantly, they offer prayer and gratitude to them. That is a offering. All offerings don't have to be tangible. Remember I said singing songs, praying to them, showing gratitude, just saying thank you. Instead of going there and just saying, 
hey, can I have this? Could y'all help me with this? It's like, hey, thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for paving the way. Thank you for helping me be me. I am because you are. Believe that. TJ literally has that tattooed on her. Like, I am because you are. Because it, it's true. Um, um, Candy, can you explain this further? Be specific with y'all questions because I don't know. Listen, sometimes when I give information, I am like here. Not saying like I'm above and I know everything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I operate from here because it's, it's second to nature to me. This is what I do every day. This is what I, this is just my natural life. So operating from here, sometimes I forget about the, the basics, if that makes sense. Like, have you ever tried to help like a young kid with their homework or something? And you're like, I know how to divide, I know how to multiply, but this little squares that I got to color in seems complicated. Same type of concept. So be very specific on um, what y'all want me to answer. And this is a graphic that says type of ancestor, offerings you can do, cook food, ancestor money, water, liquor, flowers, a lit candle, fruit, favorite items, tobacco. Um, those are some, some type of offerings. If y'all have any other questions when it comes to ancestor altars, ancestor offerings, um, honoring your ancestors, anything dealing with ancestors, feel free to drop them below and I'll help you. And don't forget that I love you. Bye.